Cases of coronavirus are increasing across India and this time around in the third wave of the pandemic there are many people who are exploring the option of this essentially this is a rapid antigen home based test kit in this video we'll tell you all about the home testing kits and how you can use them easily at home covid-19 self test kits also referred to as home tests or over the counter tests are one of the many risk reduction measures along with vaccination masking and physical distancing self test kits in fact can be used at home or anywhere it just takes about 15 minutes to detect whether the person is positive for covid or not they work by detecting surface proteins or antigens on the live virus typically the spike protein of the coronavirus now coming back to the point on how you can really use this test kit we'll tell you everything step by step first of all take a look whether the table is clean or not You can use some tissue and some sanitizer to clean it this way. Just clean a small portion of this table. Then ensure that your hands are either washed with soap or you've been able to sanitize them well like this. Then tear the pouch of the test kit and put it on the table. Now this is important. Before you proceed, download the app mentioned in the testing kit and fill in the credentials so that no positive case is missed. Now let's get you details of what exactly you will be finding in the pouch of the testing kit. You'll find a testing card that looks like this. You'll also find a sterile nasal safe swab. Sometimes you'll find a pre-filled extraction tube. Other times you might find a tube like this which is empty and the contents of this will be going into this. Let's now move towards picking the sample from your nostrils. The nasal swab in a packet like this, you open it carefully. One end of this is going to be without any cotton. The other end is going to have some cotton wrapped around it. You will have to put the cotton end of the swab in each nostril and roll it 5 times in each nostril. You can go up to even 4 cm or till the time you feel extremely uncomfortable or you feel the resistance. Repeat this for the second nostril. Ensure that you're rolling the swab for at least 5 times. This is an empty tube. Often home based antigen kits have pre-filled tubes. The liquid from this particular container can be poured into this empty tube. Pour 6 drops of this liquid into this empty tube. Take the swab and insert it in this tube. Make sure that the swab is completely immersed in the liquid here. Swirl the swab at least for 10 times. find the break point and break the swab pour few drops of this liquid in this test card observe the test kit for at least 15 minutes essentially in this particular test kit if you are negative only one line will appear you have to observe this for 15 minutes A second line appearing which is a T line after 20 minutes makes this particular test invalid. How effective are these kits? Rapid tests are extremely effective if the patient has high viral load. It's also effective if the virus has multiplied in the body. This essentially means that if you are in the first few days of your infection, these test kits aren't very effective. There are more than 140 rapid testing kits that are approved by the Indian Council of Medical Research. Many of them are available online. Many of them are available in the nearest chemist shop. They cost anywhere between 250 rupees to almost 1400 rupees. What are the issues then with these test kits? The biggest issue is reliability. The swab may not be collected properly. The swab stick getting contaminated is also a possibility. Rapid antigen test kits come with a big possibility of false negatives. If a covid infected person is asymptomatic and tests negative the test may give a false sense of security but by far the biggest concern really is tracing positive patients who've tested positive on rapid antigen tests 
A person can feed a wrong address and details on the mobile app, making it impossible for healthcare workers to carry out contact tracing. Alternatively, technical errors in the mobile app can hamper the entire testing and reporting process. Governments in fact like Maharashtra for example have left it on the chemist then to take the contact number of the person who's buying these test kits. Many people may actually give the wrong number and the wrong address. Essentially, these test kits are used by people at home. If they are positive, we have to trust them with isolating themselves and reporting to the government. There is no foolproof way of ensuring this.